afternoon um yeah so monday afternoon and we're gonna well i'm the only one here at the minute gonna grease them up gonna gonna change the oil on the on the sea because i just think it needs it uh We've got 1545 in it. I'll put a little bit of thicker sort of turbo boost stuff in it for it thickens the oil up, and I think it, that was to help prime the pump. But I noticed the pressure's a little bit high, and I think there's a little bit of dirt in the oil that I don't want in there. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to put the header on. I'm going to try and put the header on the C. But I'm gonna I'm gonna grease the beater at the front first, and then I'm gonna get them get the hump back out, get the hump back A out, and then get the C out, and uh, and drive it forward and try and get the header on the C. Um, should be fairly straightforward. Um, and then when the wa the oil's warm on the C, I can drop the oil out a bit easier, a bit quicker, and hope because it trickles out quite slowly. So I'll try and get that out, and then yeah, we'll go from there. I'm gonna do. Grease up all of them. Going to put some crop lifters on the on the little on the short one because it's got the bolts ready for it. When I bought it, it had crop lifters on it, but I took them out of the way. Didn't need them, but this year we might need them. Um, so maybe at the event, the the little one will be doing the flat crops. Uh, hopefully, it's not too flat. But you know, we've had quite a lot of rain, and a bit of it was flat the other day. So yeah, we'll go from there. We'll just get on. Got quite a lot to do still. I think we we got enough time, so we will do it, providing providing I do I do put myself to it every day, every day after work. So I would say we got Friday, Saturday, we got Saturday, uh, Monday, Friday, Monday, <laughs> Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then I got Friday off to to prepare. So you know we ain't got massive amount to do. We got to put the we got to put another sieve in this one. Got to put the header on. One of, and obviously we've got to do the square back as well. Um, but he reckons he's found some seals for that, so we should get that. We should get that one all right. Got to do the knife on the on the square back, and it would be nice if we could get them set up as well. You know, as much as possible, uh, ready for the show. On the weekend potentially, you know, I think we're going to be able to cut a bit. You know, it just we don't know how much yet. You know. If it's really, if it's wet, if it's damp, we'll cut a bit. But obviously, we can't just cut it all because we're going to end up having to dry it all. So we'll just do a bit for the show's sake, and then wait until it dries, and then do it again. But that's the idea. Hopefully, it's dry enough, and we can just go and do it and get it in, um, which will be nice. But you know, we just got to wait and see. Uh, and hopefully, it's not too wet that we can't do anything. But that's just part of the old game. Anyway, I've got to get on, so I'll try and do some updates anyway. I'll see you in a little while. Bye. It's the first time I've had these two parked outside together. I've never had them working together because they've always been... This one has only just come down recently again. Although this is where it came from. This is where I had it originally. All the, well, I had it in this area all those years ago. But you can see the difference in the size. That is actually, it's got, that's got four, the C has got four straw walkers. That's got three. But actually, I'm not exactly sure if the walkers are interchangeable. They might be. I've never tried it. But I know that the drum is a 40 inch width on that one and it's a 60 inch width on that one. So it's an extra third. So although you've got, obviously, You've got an extra quarter when it comes to the walkers, but the actual freshing size is is a fair bit bigger. I mean, just briefly have a look. Wonder they do look the same without going mad and measuring them. Yeah, I'd say the walkers are the same to be honest. I would imagine they are the same. But yeah, it's the first time you've seen them together like that. What a lovely pair. Nice little collection we've got. Catch you in a minute. That's the right height. So I've had to 
tilted back on wood, look. So, just got to move it over a tiny bit and it should go in. So, yeah, hopefully. should go in, if not like well, just a bit of adjustment, but right, catch you later. There you go look, she's on. Mate, I'm glad that's happened. We're getting better at this, this one's actually easier to put on than the other one, I don't know why. It is because it's wider. But it seems to be a lot easier than that model A. That model A out there is a horrible thing to put the head on. That, that better things on it for some reason. Here now, engineering goes backwards. It goes something's perfectly fine and they decide to change it. It's like nowadays you don't get rotary screens on Lexus. They've got this stupid thing that goes back and forward. Well, what was wrong with the rotary screen? So there you go. Never mind. One of them, in it? Right. See you in a minute. Look, it's so exciting, even the captain. Tighten the belts a bit, maybe. There you go, lovely.
<laughs> Try and turn that off. Uh, yeah, so it's working all right, isn't it? Nice and smooth. Just got. I just want to tension the rattle chains. Uh, I've greased it all. I've, I've put a little bit too much oil in the engine, so I've got to drop a little bit of that out. But yeah, she's all right, isn't she? Yeah, so I think she's just about done now, really. Just got to tighten the chains. There's that back, what's it on? Uh, the like deflector that goes on the back that's, that stops all the straw going onto the rear axle. So, yeah, pretty good. Um, yeah. We're going well. I might go out and say I'm going out for a meal tomorrow night now because I've managed to catch up pretty much. So, um, yeah, it should be should be all right. So, go out for a meal tomorrow and, um, you know, got to really. I haven't been seeing anybody because of because I've been so busy doing this. And I thought, well, you know, they asked me if I was coming and I said no at first. And I thought, well, actually, I need to, you know, I need to see people. So decided to say, yeah, go on, and I'll go. I've got like oil all over my face because uh, one of the hydraulic valves was stuck and I pressed it and kept on punching it to, to get it to move. And I eventually got it and it went all in my face. But there you go, right. Um, I'll do another video in a minute, I think, before I go, but I've just got a few more jobs to do. So yeah, I'll see you again. Right then, that's it for today. There's Combine is pretty much there. Just a couple of tiny little tweaks to do to it. Um, but my mate's going to do that tomorrow. Going to just adjust the drum to what it says in the book and, and, and the sieves and just get everything basically in line with what it says in the book. It's not always right, but it's basically there. Um, uh, what? Yeah, just drop a little bit of engine oil out of the engine, tiny bit. And put the back cover on the sieves and so basically tomorrow we're going to cut something we're going to cut I was going to go out for a meal with some people but you know some friends of mine but the thing is the weather looks all right tomorrow so we're just going to cut a little bit ready just going to sorry somebody just messaged me so going to um Basically, going to cut a little bit around the field tomorrow. Just going to hold out hope that the weather is going to be all right for this event. You know, it's, nothing, <laughs> it's one of them. I say, I know I keep saying it, but it does play on my mind a little bit because we planned all this, and it, and you know, the weather couldn't make it ruin it. Um, you know, it's a bit annoying, um, but there you go. Um, We'll just have to wait and see. Hopefully it's all all right. But basically, yeah, it's just the uh, fulfilment of what I've been doing all night. I've greased it all, you know, checked it all. Um, done up all the chains. There you go. Very frustrating, this weather, but... An absolute nightmare really but there you go it's just part of you know living in this country and doing farm work it's well annoying when the weather's like this but then sometimes like last year it was too hot so yeah it's just one of those things in it you know you have to take it as it comes and there you go yeah right i'll uh see you again probably tomorrow hopefully we'll be cutting something with us there's some big old rats about, they're making some right old noises. Right, see you later. Bye.